Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to cover the rest of the Login Site Cloud configuration options that weren't covered in my other videos. There are some important configuration options that all Login Site Cloud admins need to understand to make full use of the product, including things like system alerts and usage metrics. Let's begin. Start by clicking on our configuration section of Login Site Cloud. And we covered vSphere integration. When you install a Login Site Cloud proxy on prem, you can add vCenters to monitor and pull events from NESX hosts. So this is where you would configure those vCenter instances and configure different ESX hosts to pull logs into Login Site Cloud. System alerts are basic alerts that inform you when Login Site Cloud isn't functioning properly. If the cloud proxy is dropping logs, if we have a failure to forward logs, if we have an inactive cloud proxy or an agent, Login Site Cloud can inform you via an email recipient or a webhook. This is your standard email configuration. You could use the VMware hosted SMTP server or a custom one for your organization. These are your configured cloud proxies that are reporting to Login Site Cloud. This includes both regular cloud proxies that are deployed on-prem and cloud native collectors that are deployed in a public cloud. This is a list of all the Login Site agents that are reporting to Login Site Cloud. An agent is installed on a Windows or Linux machine and collects application and operating system logs. We can configure agents with an agent config file to collect logs from certain files. So for instance, for this Apache Linux generic file log, we're pulling from var log Apache 2, including any of these files that are Apache specific files. We're excluding certain files based on wildcard, and we can exclude certain fields, whitelist and blacklist expressions, and parse by a certain parser. So another is the Linux config for a Linux agent. We can pull our messages file from var log. It's pulling messages, it's tagging each message with a certain tag, and it's parsing it by using our syslog parser here. Usage reports are a very important way to understand how much you're ingesting and how much your potential costs might be. We have a summary here on the usage reports page that shows you your ingestion rate, your ingestion volume, your index and non-index storage ingestion, and then your billable and non-billable logs. We have a chart of ingestion over time, as well as top five consuming partitions by storage. And we can break down queries by the volume of gigabytes that they have queried, and we can see our active sessions. We can also download the user's report as a CSV if we need to hand it to the accounting department, or we can choose to see metrics from seven days as far back as 30 days. We have our access control, so we can see who has access to Login Site Cloud from the cloud services portal, and we can see which roles they have as well as their email address. We have our role definitions and roles, so we can add a new role if we want, and we can give certain permissions, and then we can create our own custom roles, or we can use the roles that are provided in Login Site Cloud. You can show the permissions at any time by clicking here, or you can edit the role at any time by clicking Edit. And finally, we have data sets. Data sets are a set of data that only certain roles have access to. So if you have a security team that you only want to give access to a certain set of data, you can do that. So they can only query things like authentication and auditing events. And finally, we have subscriptions. Subscription is based on your plan. We have perpetual plans, on-demand plans, and customized plans. So you can see the rate card, which would show your ingestion costs in Gigabyte per month for on-demand, one-year commitment in three-year, as well as cost for retention and cost for index and non-index storage. Well, that's our review of the configuration section of Login Site Cloud. Please go into your instance if you have one and make yourself familiar with these options as they're very important to manage a healthy Login Site Cloud instance. Thank you so much for watching.